Good day, and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name's Kyle, and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under five minutes a day. Today's video continues in covering meteorology and weather theory. In today's video lesson, we will be covering moisture and precipitation. Water, whether gaseous, liquid, or frozen, can cause great hazards in aviation. As water evaporates or turns to vapor, it forms what is commonly known as humidity, or moisture in the air. The term relative humidity refers to the percentage of water vapor currently in the air, with 100% meaning that the air is totally saturated with moisture. To calculate the relative humidity, simply divide the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere by the amount of water vapor possible. This is something that the weather station has already done for us. As air cools, it can hold less and less water. Eventually, the air may become so cool that it reaches 100% relative humidity. The temperature at which this occurs is known as the dew point, defined as the temperature at which the air becomes 100% saturated by the water vapor already present in the air. The term temperature dew point spread refers to the difference between the current temperature and dew point. As the spread between temperature and dew point lessens, the relative humidity increases. When the spread reaches zero, the relative humidity will be 100%. Typically, a temperature dew point spread of 5 degrees Celsius or less will result in fog. And while the surface spread may be used to anticipate fog, it has little effect on precipitation. Precipitation formation requires saturation through many thick levels, usually clouds at least 4,000 feet thick. And so, if there is precipitation in the area, one can generally assume that the clouds will be at least 4,000 feet thick in that area. One may also expect that with thicker clouds comes heavier precipitation, or vice versa. Condensation nuclei are particles in the unclean air that may cause condensation or vapor turning to moisture, or sublimation, defined as vapor turning directly to ice, while at less than but near 100% relative humidity, both resulting in the formation of clouds. The term supercooled water refers to unfrozen water at a temperature below zero degrees, typically between zero degrees and negative 15 degrees Celsius. Below negative 15 degrees, the water is normally found in the form of already frozen ice. However, supercooled water has been found at temperatures as low as negative 40 degrees Celsius. These droplets can become dangerous in flight as the supercooled water freezes upon impact, resulting in aircraft icing. When the dew point is below freezing, water vapor sublimates directly into ice, skipping the liquid stage. Precipitation forms primarily in two ways, by more water sublimating or condensing onto already formed particles. Think about rolling a snowball along and watching as it grows slowly as it collects snow. This typically results in a drizzle or light snow. Or, by already formed particles colliding and growing. Picture smashing two medium-sized snowballs together, resulting in one large snowball. This results in a much more rapid collection and heavier rain or snow. Low visibility and precipitation can be expected where prevailing winds have an overwater trajectory, as the water will contribute greatly to the moisture of the air. This concludes today's discussion of moisture and precipitation. I hope that it's been helpful. As always, thank you for watching the ACS Library. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you might like it or share with somebody else who may also enjoy it. If you're new to the videos, don't forget to subscribe and keep track of more, and make sure the bell to the right of the subscribe button is activated for notifications about future videos. Comments are always greatly appreciated. Look out for super cool droplets and small temperature dew point spreads, and safe flying.